All right, five participants have been confirmed for this year's Home Run Derby, and everyone will be trying to beat two-time defending champ Pete Alonzo. Each player in the field so far has at least one Home Run Derby under their belt, with Albert Pujols getting his fifth chance to become a champion. Uh, noticeably missing is one Aaron Judge. Jay, well, I'm going to start with you. Mm -hmm. Are you disappointed that Aaron Judge will not participate in the Home Run Derby? No, I love it. I think it's genius. I think it's marketing genius, right? Obviously, having 30 home runs on his way to probably breaking a record this season if he's able to stay healthy, that's always a caveat with Aaron Judge. I think puts him in an incredible position with Aaron Boone and the Yankees to get a payday with a three in front of it, a pretty big three. But I think what this does is it starts to set that conversation about how serious Aaron Judge is taking his time with his team. Now, I don't think it's serious, right, going to home run, home run derby, all-star, things of that sort. But I love these little marketing ploys, these little tricks that you can try to change the narrative, right? So for me, if you're Aaron Judge, you're looking at this saying, okay, everybody wants to see me knock home runs. You know, I'm not focused on an all-star game. Focus on winning the pennant. Focus on winning the World Series. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on being the best version for my team as I can be. And if people want to say, hey, this is not good for baseball, all this stuff, celebrate the game, I celebrate the game because I'm in a critical year, and the more home runs I hit, the more my team wins, the more you're going to be gloating about me, tell me how great I am. Whereas if I go to All-Star Game and I don't win, who really cares about this at the end of the day? Nobody really cares about the All-Star Game. What we do care about is me breaking a record or us winning a World Series. So I'm just going to stay focused on that. So I like the fact that Aaron Judge is taking a different approach to it instead of just participating in activities for the sake of doing it. Yeah, I don't think one has to do with the other. I think if you can go out there and participate in a home run derby, it doesn't mean you can't win a World Series. It's not going to screw up his swing that much. My point about Judge is this. He is the poster boy for the sport. They just came off a lockout. This is a big night for baseball that Monday. You can make an argument that Monday night here, Home Run Derby, is more, got more juice than the actual game itself. Mm -hmm. Baseball needs a guy like Judge to participate because he brings eyeballs to the sets, and it's good for the sport, especially after the bitterness between both sides in the wintertime where they mistrusted each other, didn't like each other, anything else. They, you know, Soto's participating in it. Uh, you know, Otani did it last year, so he gave him a little break. Uh, you know, Soto won a world championship. He's going to make $400 million for Washington. Alonzo, who's playing for the Mets, he wants to win a world championship, too. He's going to go participate in it for the third straight time. So, to me, Judge almost owes it to the game and uh -huh. his stance in the game, where he is right now as a, as a performer, because he is the poster boy. He's going to win the MVP. He's the poster boy of the sport. He's got to say, you know what? For the good of the game, the sport needs me right now. I need to participate for the big picture, and that's why you should do it. Who's the best player in baseball right now? Well, uh, I mean, you know, if you ask me right now, I think Judge has had the most impact this year. Okay. So we're talking about Aaron Judge a lot, the fact that he's made 30 home runs, right? right. So here, here's whenever I hear somebody say you owe it to the sport, I often think about, okay, what does the sport owe to us? Because I haven't seen baseball properly market individuals to celebrate their game, right? So I, I think there's been some interesting slights by baseball on not promoting or changing the game to adapt to what we need the game to be. I mean, I don't think you see a lot of young people standing around and watching baseball games on TV. But so they watch Monday night. The home run derby, the young kid watches. But why am I worried about selling a sport when I'm worried about participating in my team and doing what's best for my team? Well, what about he? He's going to do that anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, by participating Monday night, how's that going to affect him with the Yankees in the World Series? So why does it even matter? Because it's, because it's a big event. It's on ESPN. you got lots of people watching. got a lot of your, your kids. Oh, like so it. you need to sell your product off my back, so I'm doing some good... I, well, I mean, I mean, that's I what you want. You want them both working together for the health of the sport. I hear you, but I mean, I'm already, I'm healthy. I'm already being, I'm the most, I'm the person most talked about right now in baseball. And so, uh, what is there for me to gain more by doing the people, home run derby? Well, because more people will watch him participate in a home run derby around the country than watch Yankee games on a week-to-week -week basis. But what does that do, Mad Dog? It's good for the game. Why am if, I? Well, I'm, I'm, wait, if my you're judging, uh, you're the poster boy. You got to do things sometimes that's good for the game. I you know, do it's good for the sport. I he, do it. He does everything for the game. Well, the guy goes every is, charity event. He shows up at things here. He does everything. He's not doing the home run baseball. Yeah, it's just. two hours. He can't go out there and take a few swings for a couple of hours at Dodger Stadium with the Hollywood sign in the background on ESPN at seven o'clock at four thirty with fifty-five thousand in the stands. He can't be partaking that. All, it's that big a deal. All I'm saying to you, I, I hear what you're saying, but. I don't think Aaron Judge owes the game of baseball anything. 
for a guy who's had the injury kind of history that he's had, I think he owes everything to himself. And we both love Frank Sinatra. I'm from Jersey. If he wants to do it his way by not participating in the home run derby, I got no qualm with it. I'm not going to sit here and say he's doing an injustice to the sport by not helping them celebrate the sport. That's a little strong. I shouldn't say injustice. Uh, that's a little you strong. didn't say I said it. You didn't say injustice. I said it. But there will be some people out there. We'll get mad. The baseball elites that will say, oh, this is what you need to do. And I'm saying it's a new day and age. I don't need to see Aaron Judge in the home run derby to showcase the sport when he's been showcasing it each and every night he's in a Yankees uniform. Yeah, but 55000 are paying a lot of money to go to that game on Monday night, Monday afternoon. That's a big event. That's a big place, Dodger Stadium. It's a historic building, as you know. Uh, it's a great Chavez Ravine. It's 55,000 fannies in those seats. You think those fans would like to see Judge participate? Of course. And that's why Judge of should course. do it. Of course. I think every Is fan. Is it not the fans? I think it? everywhere Aaron Judge goes, fans that pay money would love to see him play. Doesn't mean that it needs to happen. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.